What's going on, guys? I'm just going to do a quick overview um, of how you can do a reactivation campaign inside Legendary. Um, I just set one up and started the first batch today. So I put my first, I think, nine or 10 people in it. And it's going to be able to just drip about 10 every day till I get through about 300 or so. So, show you guys how you can do this. If you want to set this up yourself, Go ahead and text demo to 319 250 6868. That's going to get you into my SMS autoresponder, which you can also set up in Legendary and um, show you how you can sign up for a seven day free trial. So, with that being said, let me take this off here and share my screen. So, what you guys are looking at right now, this is the pipeline for my reactivation campaign. So, anyone I add comes into this lead in stage. Um, after the first email gets sent out, this is an email reactivation. You could also do this with text messaging or voicemail drops. So as soon as the first email gets sent out, it moves their card over to the stage here, email number one. And I'll show you how this workflow works, but there's a total of three emails in this reactivation campaign. Um, if they respond to any of those, they'll move over here. If they book a demo call, um, I'm going to set that up to have them move here and then if they unsubscribe or mark any of the emails as spam, it's going to automatically mark the deal as lost. And if they do convert into this offer that I'm making them, I'll mark the deal as one. So that's the, the pipeline, how you can track the leads through your reactivation campaign. And now we'll go into the workflow where it's actually set up. So it starts off with a trigger. Um, that trigger is tag added email reactivation. You can add tags as you're uploading leads into the system. So just uploading a list of leads could actually trigger this automation. I batched my leads into sets of 10 just because I don't want to send too many emails in one day. So I can actually come in here after the first set. You can see nine people are waiting at this stage here. I'll zoom in a little bit for you guys too. So I could actually change this tag now to the second tag, the third tag, the fourth tag, ETC. And that's how you can kind of batch your um, your leads into the workflow. So you can see the first action is it adds them to that stage, the first stage in the pipeline. Then it's going to send this email, and then it's going to move to email sent. So that's all the actions that have been completed so far. Now it's looking for a response event. So any of these email actions they take, open, click, unsubscribe, complain, or bounced, will prompt it to move down the workflow. And it'll also time out after seven days. So then my, my next step is a conditional logic. If the email is opened, they'll move on this way. If it's not, it's going to mark as deal lost. So after a week, if they haven't opened the email, it's just going to mark um, that lead as deal lost. It's going to set the contact D&D &D and remove them from the workflow. That means they won't get any future communications. I could manually go back and toggle this off if I wanted to and move them to any stage. But just to automate things, if they don't open the first email after a week, I wanna mark it as deal lost and just remove them from this workflow. Now, if they did open the email and they didn't mark it as spam or unsubscribe, it's gonna wait 30 hours and send the second email. If they did mark it as spam or unsubscribe, it's gonna do the same thing, send it as deal lost, remove from workflow, make sure they don't get any future communications. So then, after this, sending the second email, it's going to move them to the second email stage, which will be right here. And it's going to wait that same pattern until they take some action on the email. If they don't market spam as unsubscribe. It'll send the third email, move them to the third email stage. And I have a wait step down at the bottom, just in case I want to add any additional emails or any additional actions. So that's the basics. You can do the same thing with um, text messages, and you can actually get more granular text messages too, because you could check for certain response keywords, and that would um, trigger different things you'd want to happen, and stuff like that. So I'll let you guys know the results of this. It's probably going to be, I'd say, a month or so before I get everybody added to this campaign and work them through, because I'm just going to take it slow, send out 10 to 15 emails a day and just let the system work the leads um, through. So this is basically the email I'm sending out. 
that they'll receive. They get prompted to schedule a Zoom call. So they'll go to my calendar here and pick a time that works for them. So it could be next Tuesday, let's say, and they'll select that. On the next page, they fill in their name, phone number, email, and schedule that. We'll both get notifications and reminders to make sure we both make that meeting. And um, they'll also be updated on my pipeline, on my appointment stage, so I know I have a booked appointment. The availability on this calendar is based off of my two-way sync with Google, my Google calendar. So if I update something for a personal event or something that's not to do with my business, it will still remove that availability so people can't book. So Friday is actually closed. I don't allow people to book on the weekends and you can completely customize the calendar however you want to. This is also from Legendary. So if you want to schedule, you know, seven days a week, but just in certain time windows, you can do that. If you only want to have the next five days of availability showing on your calendar at any one time, you can do that. It's kind of up to you. But real nice how this works together. And um, yeah, we'll just see how this goes. I got these first 10 added. The next thing I'm going to do is change to the second tag and then let that drip in tomorrow. So hopefully that helps some people looking to do some kind of reactivation campaign, whether it's email or text message or voicemail drops, give you a little overview of the system you can set up. If you need any help, feel free to reach out. Um, and like I said, you should also text demo to 319-250-6868 just to see how that works. It's a pretty cool feature as well. So all that stuff that I just showed you, you can do from Legendary. You can also build websites. You have a chat widget you can install on those generate some more leads there and all kinds of cool stuff. So if you want, I have a link to the group on my Facebook profile. You can jump in, join that for free, get access to the SMS marketing automation course um, to learn more about Legendary as well. That being said, you guys have a great day. Stay legendary, automate and optimize um, your business so you don't have to spend all your time doing crap you don't want to do. Have a great weekend.